friend Garrett Headland in here. Garrett, how you doing this morning, man? I'm doing very well. Oh, we're doing, we are fantastic. Doing great. Yeah. Garrett, uh, Garrett is in the new uh, movie that opens up this weekend, Country Strong. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a term here. They uh, give us some prep stuff here, Garrett. And I, know, I don't know what a romance shine is. What is a romance shine? A That's romance how they describe shine, you in this the movie. the first time I've ever heard that reference. With, mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what that was either. Uh, uh, some love with some window cleaner on it. There you go. <laughs> yeah. the window cleaner love. Greek well, love. Garrett, <laughs> I got to go to the premiere in uh, Nashville for this movie, Country Strong. It is fantastic. I love the oh, movie. You. Explain your role. What is it? Uh, explain your character in this movie. Well, I play a sort of an aspiring, you know, he's a singer-songwriter, you know, growing up in, in Nashville as well. Just kind of, but when when you get introduced to him at the beginning of the film, he's... You know, uh, playing at a place where he loves the hard-working people that just love some good music. And, and he's working at this rehab facilitation that Gwyneth Paltrow's kind of being treated at. And that's how they know each other. And, uh, you know, she's gotten to listen to his music and feels very supportive of him as a as an artist. And when it comes in time for her to be taken back out on tour to kind of revamp her career, they... Um, she really feels strongly about having my character open for her and come with and mm-hmm. sort of support her, but also make a name for himself. And that's kind of, yeah, where we start off. And Your a singing little... in the movie is fantastic. That song, Give In To Me, mm-hmm. I love uh, it. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we'd had so many wonderful, uh, you know, artists contribute to the songs we had in this. And the film wouldn't be what it is if, if we didn't. But I'm very proud, and, uh, you know, to sing these songs and it's not easy you know it was um but to get up in front of the crowds when it would be a really nervous situation to you know showcase these songs was was a privilege rather than a scare you know well did you uh did you did you get bitten were you bitten by the bug then is this something that you think you might <laughs> want to continue i, I know uh I, I come out to nashville yesterday and uh and um all the band got back together, and uh, it, was, it was so tempting for us to not just go down to Lower Broad and get up on stage. Uh, uh, you know, I think um, we went down to the old, you know, places we used to hang, but, you know, fortunately we had some great entertainment uh, up there rather than, you know, getting up uh, ourselves. Okay, so you you're gonna you're gonna fight the urge for a little while then. Fight the urge for a bit. No, I enjoy playing them. I'm, I'm really thankful for the gift that this film gave me in terms of learning the guitar and and, and um, being able to sing and, and mm-hmm. being in the studio and just you know sort of understanding and learning the whole environment to just be able to sort of well pretend to maybe be a little comfortable but uh, to just enjoy being able to do it once in a while. So you hadn't sung or played guitar before this movie? No, I mean. I was in chorus in high school, but that was, I was striving for an easy A, but I think I still maybe got a C. You know? but, um, you get the A in this movie. It's I, Seriously, your singing voice is fantastic. You really believe your character. Oh, uh, thank you much. I mean, we worked hard at it, and it's wonderful that, uh, you know, for Shauna Festy, I mean, um, to believe in somebody that didn't have the abilities because today, you know, producers usually say, like, are they there? Are they there? They're not there, so let's cast someone who is. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter if they can act. All right, he's a better musician. Let's go with that. And for Shauna to, you know, believe in that time and to have the six months to be able to prep this film and, and do what we do with that was, you know, such a privilege. That's pretty impressive. Now, mm-hmm. it's not your first time uh, working with Tim, I know. Mm-hmm. You were with uh, Friday Night Lights with with yeah, Tim before. Yeah, we played Father and Son. Yeah, about five six years ago. Now was that uh, did that help you with this uh, with this connection? Did it help the scenes? Well, well, I suppose at the end of the day, because I got to come out here in October, and and um, you know, uh, me and Shauna came and met with Tim and got to check out some sites in the in the city and get the gist of the town and and. Um, you know, Tim let me stay out at his cabin for a month and a half prior to filming. So oh, cool. to be out here and to sort of really uh, to feel, you know, Nashville in a way. And plus, I mean, every morning I got to look out the window and see Hank Sr.'s old uh, plantation home. So, it's, <laughs> you know, it's good morning, Hank. And then the rest of the day you're playing in front of the fireplace. And, oh, nice. 
songs. Getting the songs down. So I think ultimately it was such a huge benefit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and plus I just I love Tim and I owe so much to him for this. Yeah. So you were you were exposed to Tim, so you had to be exposed to the Warren Brothers as well. <laughs> I was just talking about the Warren <laughs> Brothers. That's that. man, I love them so They're much. They're so funny. Oh man! But they they got a number one uh, song out right now. That's right. Yep. Yeah, them and uh, I think they're trying to figure out if it's the first time that two pairs of brothers have had a number one song. It's the Warren Brothers and the Beaver Brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Now the uh, uh, the movie Country Strong is also is only one of the films that you're in that's out right now. Yeah. Now you're also in Tron. I I can't think of a of a, of two more different kinds of roles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's got to feel pretty interesting. Well, yeah, it's sort of. I, yeah. It's always the goal for me. Is I guess the extreme opposites, or well, just the, I just the differentiations. I don't really care to do anything, you know, similar to anything I'd done before. And so that's why when we were working on Tron, and when I was meeting with Sean on this, it was such a desirable role because how far away it was mm-hmm. from anything that uh, Tron related. But yeah. Wow. Garrett, congratulations, Thanks and so uh, we appreciate your uh, your time this morning, and wish you much success. Sounds like you got to, you, you, you can go any direction you want to mm-hmm. right now. <laughs> well, we'll see. We got a we just wrapped a wonderful film that was a privilege that was on the road, the Jack Kerouac novel with Walter mm. Sellis directing. So it's now it's maybe time for a little bit of rest. There's been a lot of um, blood, sweat, and tears poured out there over the last couple of years. So, oh, uh, but I'm. Uh, Feel very fortunate and thankful for everything. So you, you can re- you can relax with the Warren Brothers and just kind of chill. <laughs> <laughs> Don't relax too yeah. long with those guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Garrett Hedlund. Thanks again, man. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much. Bye.